So if you want to work with basic graphics, traditional graphics, just 2D graphics, then you can go to 2D shapes right here. And over here, once you go, you can see that on the right hand side, you see the lines and curves right here. So you can grab some lines over here. You can see that I can click and drag and a line has been created. So once a line has been created, you can see that there are a bit of dots right here, which I can click and drag just like this. And I can resize it according to what I want, maybe, uh, and then uh, just press tick mark right here and the line gets in place just like that. Now you cannot edit it anymore. Uh, you also have curves right here, like three point curves. So you can just click and drag and you see this handle in between. You can actually manipulate it just like this and then manipulate the curves just like this and then press the tick mark right here. So there are different type of curves as you can see right here. Just click and drag just like that. You can also choose a different color if you want. So you can actually go over here and choose a different color according to your liking and then just increase the thickness just like this and increase the opacity that is the transparency as you can see so if i were to move it here you can see that there's a sort of a transparency right here just like that you can even rotate the curves and so forth flip the curves according to your liking just like you would rotate the canvas and so forth and optionally you can also make this 3d so you can also make this 3d and you can see that now you can rotate it uh, otherwise so you can rotate it in different angles as you can see right here so that also gives a special effect just like that you can go over here into 2d shapes and there are other shapes that you can choose from too so let's say for example you want to make this one simply click and drag and there's the arrow right there there's also fill color associated with this because this is not a plain old line so you can actually go over here and then fill it with a solid color none refers to no colors at all not, none refers to no line and that in case just fills it with a solid color but if you are to select this it fills in with a stroke and a color over here so you can fill it with a solid color you can increase and decrease the thickness right here and change its opacity as you can see right here you can also make this 3d and you have a lot of gloss and dull metal that you can choose from in the color but th that only works in 3d so if you were to rotate this out and then uh, uh, everything else, the color will actually show up, which, will, uh, which we will see in further lessons when we are covering up 3D shapes itself. So that is how you can work with 2D shapes and then manipulate shapes inside of uh, Paint 3D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.